Hey there guys, this is Robin Hood, and today I have some more Battlefield 3 footage for you guys. Uh, this is actually going to be an interesting video because I want to talk a little bit about defending the bases on basically rush defense. We all know that when attacking, you want a PTFO, and it doesn't matter if you die a ton, it's more about winning. Or anyone who's smart, no offense. Well, actually, yes, offense is meant, but still, <laughs> anyone who is uh, smart would care more about winning in Rush, since that's the point of the game, rather than your KD or something like that. But, that's, I mean, that's just how Rush is played. On defense, though, how do you stop teams that try to do this to, um, you know, actually defend the bases? And one thing is... If you defend right next to the base, once they kill you guys, you're pushed back. So you should set up a forward defense, and that's immediately what I'm doing here on Dumbavon Peak. And another thing I'm going to say real quick about the gameplay, I this is like my 20th game on the PC, and I am finally just pretty much settled in with the controls and stuff like that. Uh, there is like one instance where... I somewhat fail with the controls and but that's like one of the last few times of any of my footage that I have any uh, failures due to just not being used to the controls but basically this is on Domavon Peak rush defending and this is actually a really great map to push forward in your defense because there's all these rocks that give you cover and it's a lot easier than say on Caspian border where if you push forward you're in the wide open so as you can see here I'm gonna get shot taken down but I got four kills from there and my teammate who pushed up with me is gonna revive me so thank you to him but if you push the enemy team back, if they kill you and push you back, you're still ahead of where the MCOMs are. Or, if all of you are dead, you have time while they're running there to reset up a defense and then hopefully push them back. Now, we're gonna do really well on the first base here, but um, after, after this, what's gonna happen is one guy's gonna get by and this, the reason I'm showing this one as a defensive battle even though we get pushed back is exactly because we get pushed back and it's for the reason we do our whole team is pushed forward and as you will see one guy slips by us and even though it's just one guy since our whole team is pushed forward uh, he's able to take out the last MCOM so basically the key is you want to push forward and defend but if you notice that no one is back near the MCOMs even if there's even if it's a sniper back there someone needs to be back there to defend them and as you can see here I, I died there jumped in the chopper and um, I'm a lot better with the attack choppers than I am with these little birds and here this guy who I just killed is probably watching the little kill cam <laughs> hoping that I die but somehow I got out of that banged into a rock and a tree but uh so basically, when you're defending, you're kind of reverse PTFOing, which is you are playing the objective, but by pushing the enemy back and staying as far away from it towards the enemy's spawn as you can. And obviously, uh, thanks to the way the spawns are set up, you can't really spawn camp. You can kill them once they're out of their spawn, but I mean, in defense, that's what you're supposed to do. You have to keep them back. Uh, although, I do not like it when people just mortar the crap out of the attacking spawn. I find that pretty unfair, especially when the person using the mortars is in their own spawn where the attackers can't get to them. So yeah, there was just a series of deaths sped through that, so you guys didn't have to watch that one. But, uh, I'm actually playing as the engineer here again. This is pretty much the only class I've been using up to this point, but right now I'm starting to use the assault some more, and I'll have some gameplay of that for you guys. And then I also have one game recorded where I played, like, almost every class in it. But, um, yeah, this is the G53. It's a back to Karkan assignment gun, and I was running with a foregrip, holographic sight, and a laser sight. And there's just me failing to kill that guy. 
Yeah, that's the only problem I still have on the PC is the really long sh range shots judging them uh, as opposed to Xbox where those are not easy but they're a lot easier for me than they are on PC currently. But like I said, I'm, I'm getting used to the aspect of PC shooter gamings which uh, basically allows you to do well which is probably, you know, learning to control your weapon. Part of it's also being smart though and I was lucky having gotten to a really high rank on Xbox. I knew all these maps like the back of my hand, so what I lacked in gun skill at the beginning I could make up in map knowledge and you can see that in one of my earlier videos, the rush on Firestorm. Uh, I think everyone I killed was, I don't know, it was pretty much luck there, but I knew routes on the map that could get me to the MCOMs and it allowed me to take four of the six out which was really good for me on a PC game. There's another guy being taken down and of course it's right after I kill that guy that I'm gonna get taken out. But that's just how it works. But like I was saying with knowing your maps uh, as you'll see quite a few of the kills I get and so you know right here is where that one fail I was talking about hit the wrong keys when this guy is here end up throwing a grenade and swinging my knife for no reason and yeah don't get the kill there it doesn't really matter though my teammates saved me from him and took him out but another reason that I get several of the kills that I do in this game It's because my teammates are spotting the enemies and whenever I see an enemy I always am hitting the spot button even while I'm shooting at them because if he does manage to take me out that allows my teammates to see that he is there and basically by doing that um, it just basically takes the awareness on your team if everyone watches the minimap which I do and most people should but so watch your minimap but um that allows you to be a more effective team and as you can see this was a really good team we all pushed forward and I'm gonna fast forward it through this little chat part cuz not something you wanna see there but uh basically like I was saying back to the map awareness when you spot your enemies uh, you can see which way they're facing on the mini map and by knowing the maps you can actually plan a route or like I don't even have to plan it I just know I just take a route that gets me behind the enemy or on their flank to a position where we're not g fighting head-on and that is basically how you manage to win gunfights without taking any damage the other way is your opponent sucks at aiming and that happens to everyone sometimes so you can't always blame that on them but <clears throat> yeah here's one of those instances where I just sucked at aiming and so that's like perfect timing but look at this the guy stays right where he killed me so I just fire an RPG and actually managed to get him and then did a little jump for him in the kill cam uh, just to show that yeah I don't, I don't even know I guess just to be stupid but as you can see we did get pushed back to the second base and if you lose the first base this is the base where you want to make your stand and I guess you would say that with any bases you know you lose the first base stop it at the second base stop the enemy but this is a really good base to do that on because of the way the rocks are set up you can really move around without being seen on this map and uh, take really good cover when you push forward and here I took their their Humvee actually once they um well once I killed the guy who was driving it and the reason I did that is as you'll see later I drove it back and you might be saying well I didn't use it I drove it back there by the MCOM where my team could use it and they can use that as an armored uh, vehicle although not super armored and they can use the gun on that to safely take out enemies and defend the MCOMs so I mean that's also if you think about it one vehicle that our opponents can't use against us can't use it to push right through us quickly and get around behind us so by that uh, and here's just another overall fail and that was uh, yeah just bad play right there but um <laughs> this is pretty funny guy trying to arm with the EOD bot which once again 
Oh, and you can see my teammates using the Humvee there. But once again, the guy using the EOD bot, he failed to get it in an arm, but it was a good idea. I mean, they are pushing up past us. Or wait, no, we're pushing... <laughs> word fail there we are pushing up into the where they are spawning and holding them back and as you can see I got pushed back cuz I died but once we push them back up there and they can't get by you can use that little EOD bot it might go unnoticed sometimes it does and it has a greater chance than a person uh, to actually arm the bomb and then even if you get the arm although since no one's back there you probably won't be able to defend it it should, if the defending team is smart, uh, pull be people back away from the offensive line and the front lines to um, actually go and disarm that, and that might allow your team to push forward. So it's all about thinking smart, really. And once again here, our team actually did get pushed back, but we are going to hold, and then we're going to start trying to once again push the attackers back. But for now, we're just sitting here. And, um, yeah, just scanning the horizon. Up there I see a guy, I believe he's a sniper, not quite sure though. He starts hiding behind a tree, so I can't shoot him. So, I'm gonna use my RPG, and it's gonna be a pretty easy kill right there. And there he goes. Yeah, but this game is drawing to a close here in just a few seconds. As you can see, the enemy's tickets are just about ran out, or have. But um, right now, just to seal the deal, we're going to start trying to push forward. And I believe some of my teammates followed me in this. And some of them are pushing on the right. But I'm going to go ahead and run up. And I notice a guy over there. And yeah, some of my teammates are pushing up over on the right side of the map. But I'm going to come up here. And once again, someone spotted people on the mini-map. And so I know right where they are. And I'm going to take them out. Kill that guy. This guy, I actually miss, so I'm gonna pull out my pistol and take him down, but uh, the guy who spawned on him is gonna kill me. But here, I fast forwarded it because um, I died one more time immediately when I spawned in, and then once again, I spawn in and I die, but that's the end of the round. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Just remember to uh, really try and defend the bases by pushing the enemy back. But overall, that's all I've got to say today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.